Well, guys, it looks like we have an intentional attack on our hands here. We're a 2010 black Toyota Corolla rammed into eight people last night. And it looks like, according to police, uh, that this could have been a planned attack of some kind. Before I jump in, all that, guys, if you don't mind, really quick, giving this video a like. Also, sharing this video with your friends and family, that always helps me out a great deal. And if you guys are new, just checking me out for the first time, please click that subscribe button, browse through, and check out some of our other great video content. So the incident happened, as I mentioned, last night. There was people walking along the sidewalk, when all of a sudden, this 2010 Toyota Corolla came speeding through the intersection, ramming all eight of these people. Now, the youngest was a 13-year-old girl. Now, the details as far as their injuries go have not yet been released, uh, but we're looking at possible severe injuries here. I mean, this guy, according to witnesses, had no signs of breaking or even trying to swerve to avoid the people. Now, as far as the direct motive goes, the Sunnyvale Police Department are still investigating this, along with help from the FBI. We don't know yet whether or not this was a possible terror plot motive. That hasn't come out yet. But the suspect, after running into the eight people, he crashed the car into a tree, and he was taken into custody after that. And oddly enough, the driver kind of escaped with barely any injuries at all, uh, while the other eight, as I mentioned, um, were taken off to hospitals. And again, we don't have their names or any of the conditions yet. Police are still investigating this. This is very strange uh, that this took place, but uh, you know, our hearts go out to the victims here that were hurt uh, in Sunnyvale, California last night. What is going on? What was the purpose and the motive behind this driver plowing into these eight people? Again, no signs of stopping, trying to get out of the way, nothing. He just continued speeding up. Uh, they don't know yet whether or not drugs or alcohol were involved. That is a possibility as well. A lot to still unfold, guys. I'll keep you updated. But in the meantime, let me know what you think. What do you guys think may be the cause for this? Do you think it was an intentional attack or not? Let me know. Sound up down below, guys. As always, thank you so much for all of your support and for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can see a picture of the car after it had rammed into the tree. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.